This is Hollywood superstar Ryan Reynolds, and this is Always Sunny creator Rob McElhenney. They're here in my hometown of Wrexham at St. Giles Church in Town Centre. Gorgeous, isn't it? Well, how the hell did they get here? Obviously, on a plane. I'm not an idiot, but you know what I mean. Also, subscribe. All right, let's get into this. Look, Ryan Reynolds is in town, the Hollywood sign's missing, and wet look gel's back. This is our time. British comedian Humphrey Kerr was working with Rob McElhenney in the USA. Humphrey, a huge Liverpool supporter, would often watch games on set. During the first lockdown, he recommended that Rob watch the football documentary Sunderland Until I Die, which he adored. So much so, he wanted to buy a football club. Wrexham scored highly on a list of potential clubs, with a loyal fan base, excellent facilities, and an engaging, romantic story. Rob asked superstar Ryan Reynolds if he might be potentially interested in sponsoring the club. Ryan, however, wanted to buy it with him. Fast forward to November 2020, and the Wrexham Supporters Trust finalised the deal. Well, win! New CEO, new players, a new documentary, and FIFA 2022. But, they have yet to watch their first home match at the racecourse. Until now. Okay, we're heading over to pick up tickets for the match this Saturday. Have, have they been here yet, do you know? No. no. Tickets successfully collected. Next up, we are popping to the turf. We'll see what the vibes are like. Car park's closed. In fact, the turf was closed for a very specific reason that day, to help welcome Rob and Ryan and prepare for some filming, as well as in other areas of the town, before the big day. I just see a game out, you know, they equalised the 83rd minute, see a game out. Look, it was all against us really, we didn't have Mullin, we didn't have, you know, um, much momentum yeah, in the end of the second half there. Torquay had all of it and they capitalised, that was it. So ultimately a bit of a disappointment, you know, they saw a 3-2 loss at Maidenhead, followed by a 1-1 draw at home with Torquay. This is not the uh, fairy tale really that they were expecting, is it? But. It's just the start of the story. I think for myself and everyone that's here in Wrexham, we're really excited to see where this can go. The sky might be the limit, you know? We don't know yet. It's just that we've been off to a rocky start. But they'll be back, and yeah. I guess we'll see what happens next.